All right, guys. Live scanner. They're coming back out with a quad scan. I know right now they have been temporarily um, put on hold on the website, long lead time. The reason that is, is they are making some changes, upgrades. We've got the Mr. Crappie Expo in Birmingham, Alabama coming up. Hopefully um, it'll be released by then and or you can uh, place an order before then, not for sure. They sent me one. Uh, we're going to install it and kind of show you uh, the features uh, that are available right now or had them make mine white uh, to match my boat wrap. So, you know, they're going to be black. Um, it's still going to have the lighted display direction arrow. Uh, one thing that they've changed is that's really good is they've put the electric connection that comes 90 degrees out of the out of the bottom of it instead of coming out of the back of it. Uh, that's going to help with uh, your wire routing. That's that's one thing they've done. Uh, of course, they've got the new collar system still in place. They've still got where it's you can add whatever shaft length you want. It'll come in the box with the collar uh, connection where you can you know put whatever shaft. Uh, it's still going to have that. Uh, another thing that they've done that's really nice is the remote control is system is is built in the foot pedal so you don't need an extra uh, remote control module to plug in to the unit anymore that takes room under your bow panel that was a an actual Im, Im, improvement that I that I like uh, also they have now have a quick disconnect that they came out with that you can go ahead and wire this in to your bow panel and then if you want to remove the live scanner for whatever reason you can now remove the electrical connection without having to go into the bow panel and uh, rewire it's still got the breakaway shaft it still uh, has the quad scan feature also they have lure lock. You can lock it in the position and it will move just in small increments to kind of compensate for the, you know, the moving of the boat to a certain degree. And I know it works great. Um, we've, we've already been testing that, but we're going to, that, that's one of the new features. So if you, you want to get you a live scanner and you've been waiting for the quad scan, um, then you're going to want, it's worth wait. You're going to want to wait and get this unit. We're going to get this installed and we'll go through the features and then we're going to get out on the water with it, uh, hopefully today, and get some video with this live scanner in action. I'm going to go ahead and remove the true scan and replace it with the new quad scan. If you wanna put your cover on, you need a swing bracket. It's gonna come with that. The swing bracket will come in all different models, uh, three or four different models of trolling motors. Uh, this is a, a prototype that I've been testing for the power pole move. We should have that in the next couple weeks. All right, I'm gonna show you the operation of the new quad scan. A button, left, B button, right. If we want to go into a, the quad scan mode, the C button is going to be your quad scan mode where it's just going to run in, on the port side or the left side. If we want to go to the uh, starboard side in the uh, quad scan mode, we're going to push the D button. So you're just going to push the D and it's just going to sit there and it's going to run in the starboard side. If we want to go into forward mode, quad scan mode, all you do is hit both the C and the D button and, it, and it'll just sit there and it's going to run forward. Now you can adjust the speed, you know, with the foot control, whatever speed you want, you know, you can get, get it in a crawl speed. 
whatever speed you like. So lure lock, all you have to do is anywhere you want this at, all you do is hit the A and the B button together and it'll just set there and it'll go back and forth. So if it's windy, your boat's moving, you cast your lure out there. Now you may lose the lure for a slight instance, but you'll pick it right back up. So if the boat's moving, this should eliminate a lot of the AB button or the foot pedal button. All right, say we're over here and we've got another brush pile over here. Hit the A and the D rut button on the remote. So it's gonna just sit there and move. If we wanna take, we can we got put it on high speed or we can put it down on low speed. All right, great feature. Great feature on the quad scan. If you have any questions, uh, send me uh, a comment in the video. Uh, live scanner's information is in the description of all my videos. Uh, basically anything, pretty much anything that I use on my boat is in the description of my videos. But give them a call, place an order. All right, let me show you what lure lock does. We're down here in about 18 foot of water. The trolling motor's in spot lock. We've got our live scanner pointed at that brush pile. Well, let's just say that it's windy, the it's blowing you around just a little bit. You're not keeping directly onto the brush pile. Well, all you gotta do is wherever you aim the live scanner, we can put it in lure lock and it'll go left, right, left, right, left, right. So if we start it right here, all we gotta do is hit the A and the B button. So see what it's doing, we've got it in lure lock. It's just going back and forth in small increment. Okay, so if we're blowing around, you know, it should hit, get you on the, keep you on the brush pile. Now you might lose your lure for a short period of time, but you should be able to follow it down all the way. Uh, in lure lock. Yeah, I'm gonna try to cast the jig in here. With that lure lock. I see it falling. See it's falling. Now we're, right here's my jig. I mean, if the wind's blowing, it should keep me right in that brush pile in lure lock. So see, we per periodically lose it. That's because it's moving back and forth in small increments. Now I can turn the speed down if I want to and slow it down. But I think the speed needs to be as fast as you want as it can go so it can get back to where it was. So with it moving around the lure lock, there it is not biting my jig. See if we can drop down right there. Those are little ones in there. Babies.